Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are talking metals and gold. Not a lot changed week over week. We did see gold dip in price moderately uh, midweek, but we ended up settling close to unchanged where we were last Friday. Right now in the post uh, afternoon trade around 1325, so well off the danger level zone, I guess, of 1300, which would be the level you don't want to be uh, still long and, and expect those uh, expect the market to help you out. It's going to get below 1300. That's kind of the line in the sand. You got the 200 day just below that. That could really start to free fall if we get down there. We're not there. We haven't been. Uh, we haven't even gotten close there that since uh, since March 1st and since before that. It, you got to go way back. So right now, still hovering in neutral. We'll call it ahead of key data. We got CPI and PPI next week. Uh, we've got uh, Treasury supply and equities. And then, of course, we'll keep our everything on the radar when it comes to trade, when it comes to trade wars, when it comes to negotiations with North Korea, when it comes to a lot of different things. Fed talk. Let's not forget the Fed meeting on March 21st. So there is uh, a lot still going on in gold. I think remains in favor uh, as a way to just defend. It's kind of the what if long that you want to hold on to. And you know we are wrong below 1300. But I think until we get through a lot of this data, we got through the jobs data, which was very mixed, strong headline, weak average hourly earnings. It didn't really have much of an effect. So uh, as far as looking at it from a technical perspective, we are just kind of right there waiting for that next it moment. We haven't gotten there. Inflation data may be it next week, followed by the Fed. We'll have to wait and see. And if you look at what the dollar did, the dollar really didn't help or hurt gold this week. Yes, it was moderately higher. But if you look at the bigger picture, it's still trading off the same aforementioned trade talks, uh, trade wars, uh, North Korea. You know, now you've got European Central Bank talking about easing up on the on the gas pedal and asset purchases a little bit. So there's going to be some uh, there's going to be some reasons why the dollar will probably not continue to crater. However, I don't see it going up anytime soon with all the uncertainty. The only thing that might save the dollar is the Fed, but it's going to be slow and steady, as we heard from new chair Powell last week, that it's going to be gradual rate hikes and nothing that's going to come out of left field. So that will help the dollar. But ultimately, I think it's going to be take a while for the dollar to continue to get its sea legs back under it. And if we look at the positioning, we did see longs, spec longs get out modestly, nothing big. And I think that it, it's more so looking at the bigger picture. We saw spec longs run for the exits ahead of December FOMC and have been you know running to get back in ever since and have been holding those levels. So right now, I still do see a lot of spec longs to trade below 1300 would be the sort of the, the line in the sand, as I mentioned earlier, that that would be the level you don't want to be long anymore. At least you want to lay off some of those longs and wait, wait for wait for a better buying opportunity. And the spec longs right now remain with all the uncertainty in the markets, with the data coming up, with with a lot of the geopolitical risks on the rise and with a Fed that's going to start to get more active. I think right now gold is the place to be as your hedge. And that's what we're seeing. So right now, gold in neutral heading into the weekend. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.